Albania. Romania. Armenia. Hello, my name is Fabio. I'm Italian. I've been living in Armenia for quite some time. I'm the co-founder of the Yerevan Biennial Art Foundation, YBAF. And the main role of our foundation is to basically put Armenia on the map and showcases culture, heritage and art. I think any Armenian who has been abroad uh, knows this situation where he's mistaken for Albanians, Algerians, Romanians, uh, whatever the country resembles, I mean, sound-wise. Um, it seems like it's a common phenomenon, but it's interesting to understand why it happens so, because um, obviously it's not connected to mispronunciation of the country. It's connected with something else. When it comes to investment, art probably is the last field we are thinking about, art and culture. But um, it has its importance. Of course, it's, it's not economy, ecology, but it has its own place. Being represented on Google Arts and Culture will not only help to increase um, the visibility of Armenian culture in online platforms, but it will also help to make Armenian culture accessible everywhere to anyone. Google Arts and Culture is an online platform popular throughout the world. Numerous institutions from more than 80 countries are present here. This is where we can find the most prestigious cultural entities. Its multiple features range from educational games to virtual guides and tours. The easy navigation system guides the viewer through colors, periods, gens and countries, helping to discover new cultures and experiences. Since the website gets over 370 million page views, we intend to tap into this traffic and create high-quality content about Armenian culture and heritage. Everything started from our basically our research. We were researching this new platform where many countries are present, and many art institutions have uh, exhibitions on that platform, and we were searching Armenia. By that time when we did that search, there was nothing about Armenia. So we decided to start something there and fill that gap. Uh, we started building up connections and network with different Armenian museums, art institutions, families and galleries. For example, everybody gets the taste and vibe of New York and is in love with New York, also with the help of Woody Allen and his movies. We know about Spain with help of Almodovar. We know about Armenia with the help of Sarian, Parajanov, and we have more names to represent. We have more artists to show. We need your help to fundraise in order to bring the next five exhibitions to life. The first exhibition shows Armenian caricatures from 1918 to 1921 when Armenia had just faced its liberation. The printed media shows all of its development, the traumas of society, and the formation of cliches. Next is an exhibition where the viewer gets to meditate on the differences between East and West through the lens of Sarian's works. The following exhibition will concentrate on the relationship of artist and country as a construct. The fourth exhibition will focus on the formation of national identity how the concept and image of the motherland are created through landscapes of Armenia. The last exhibition focuses on the importance of theater in the formation of a country and how ideologies are smoothly transmitted from stage to life. This is where we live and breathe the art factory. The first floor is Latitude Art Space, which both operates as a contemporary art gallery and a space where different art workshops and discussions take place. The second and third floor are art studios where artists of different mediums live and create. We work toward creating different opportunities for local artists, researchers, curators and other art professionals in their works and their talents both virtually and in real time. We are facing a huge issue to preserve our cultural identity and our legacy. Join our efforts in the solution by spotlighting what Armenia has and sharing it with the world. Join us in our efforts of putting Armenia back on a world cultural map. Fund to be found. <laughs>